So are high-heeled shoes really that bad for you? It really depends on how much you're wearing them. I always tell my patients to marry their shoes to the activities that they're doing so you know you have appropriate amount of support. So patients of ours who really like to wear heels, if it's my feet and I want to wear a pair of heels or wedges, I'm going to make sure that I'm not going to be walking for excessive periods of time or standing for long periods of time. The reason being is that chronic high heel use means that your foot is in an altered position from the normal. So my foot model here, as best as I can show you, you end up having a more of a bend through the forefoot here and also a little bend down from the ankle. What that does by the ankle is it makes it so the Achilles tendon, which inserts in the back of the heel, is functionally shorter. And the more often that you wear those high-heeled shoes, the tighter your Achilles tendon and calf can become, meaning that later, if you then go to flatter shoes or your barefoot, your tendon and the ligaments in your feet are not prepared for that activity and they can get inflamed and painful. In the front of the foot where you have that bend, you're putting a high amount more of your weight through those bones in the forefoot, which is not the way that they were built. So things like stress fractures can occur from chronic high heel use and from that extra stress in the ball of the foot, you can get irritation of both the capsule or the ligaments around the joints that hold the bones together, or you can get irritation of the nerves, which we would call neuritis or neuromas. So just that altered change in the position of your foot is the reason why high heels and wearing them long term or for too much activity can cause you quite a bit of headache.